Marvel has just dropped a new behind the scenes featurette for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So I've heard about this coming from a source of mine and I'm thinking that we're gonna get a little bit of new footage. Let's go ahead and break it down and react to it really quick. I hope there's some awesome new Kang scenes. Kang the Conqueror, best villain ever. We always love doing the unexpected with Scott Lang. Batman is arguably the character that is the most underestimated. Ant-Man became the key to saving the universe in Avengers Endgame. So carrying that tradition, we thought, well, let's use this film to kick off phase five. Phase five. It's been almost a decade now that I've been playing this part. I've loved it and I feel protective of Scott Wow, has it been that long? Ant-Man. It's really nice coming back. I still kind of can't believe that I'm sitting there and it's like, wow, there's Michelle Pfeiffer and there's Michael Douglas. I just saved eight bucks. God, I admire you. It's really nice well not to get used to working with legends. You're sending a signal down to the quantum realm. secret universe beneath ours. Janet has been very She's quiet about her Michelle time Parker. in the quantum realm. Maybe would have you know, made different choices. <laughs> There's someone I never told you about. This place isn't what you think. Kang, the Conqueror, is terrifying. And if there ever was yes. a maniac loose in the quantum realm, it's him. Playing Kang, the Conqueror, oh. is such a gift. Your reality. Everything you're holding on to, I know how it ends. This is the beginning, and he cannot be contained. Something like this, which is so transportive and visually striking, people should really this see it in the movie theater. Beautiful. You want it to be as big and as visceral and consuming as possible. Audiences are going to watch this and go, Hold I up. can't believe this is happening going to be bonkers it's like we're camping we've never been camping but we've always talked about it huh. oh. that was a little bit of new stuff too all right so short and sweet not too many new scenes but we do is this the first time we've ever heard them say it's going to be kang the conqueror because we were worried about what kind of variant is it going to be uh, sources have said that michelle pfeiffer is going to call him nathan um you know, which version of Kang were we going to get? And it looks like we are getting the absolute most badass character. One of the best villains ever in any comic book series, period. Either Marvel or DC. Kang the Conqueror. And there's no greater person on this planet than Jonathan Majors himself to play the character. I'm glad that we got a little bit of behind the scenes with Jonathan Majors. Oh, this looks great. That joke, that the camping joke landed the visuals look great. I think that, man, it might look a little bit too much like Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness, but that's just a small, that's, that's all I got, just like a small complaint. Everything else looks so good. And Ant-Man, you don't realize until you see something like this how important of a character it is. He's really been pivotal. His movies have really kicked off major events in the MCU, and it looks like Quantumania is no different. And is it going to be the end of Ant-Man? Is it going to be the end of the Wasp? This is some high stakes stuff. This introduces Kang. This creates the whole Kang dynasty. This does all of it. I'm so excited. But you guys excited? Let me know in the comments below and let me know any theories you may have based on this featurette or any of the trailers. I love reading fan theories about what's gonna happen in the Marvel Universe. Once again, my name is Noah Drake Bell. If you like this sort of content, go ahead and hit that like button. Shrink down real small and hit that subscribe bell and then uh, comment below all your thoughts on the movie. You guys are the heartbeat of this geek nation. I have my finger on that geek pulse. We will see you on the next video.